Hello, dear one, it's Alice. I am of the stars, and I thought I'd tell you about a dream I had last night to do with serpentians, that serpent beings, that overlight the serpent world type of reptile, and uh, serpentoid human beings. I know I've talked before about reptilians and reptoids and Draconians and dracoids and insectians and insectoids. And so this is this is the overlighting spirits of the serpents, serpentians, what I call that's my term. And uh, serpentoids, that's hybrids, human beings that typically that are overlit by serpentians sometimes by mistake and sometimes by choice. And I would add here that it seems to me possible, although I haven't run into it, that there might be serpentoids that are serpents that are overlit by the devas of the human world. Uh, that would be an interesting thing to see, wouldn't it? So the dream I had uh, had to do with the sound I heard. I heard a sound in my ear while dreaming. It was soft and gentle and just a hissing sound though and uh, so I asked what it was and it talked about the snakes that were in my backyard it said there are five snakes in your backyard then I asked again what is it that you are and I had a, a vision that it was a, a beautiful woman who lived in my neighborhood of West Hills California now, I have seen myths and legend from China to do with serpent women, for instance. And I advise you to take a look at those too, because it seems to me after last night's vision and dream that there may be some truth to the legends of serpent women or what I call serpent toys. Um, women who seem part snake, not like the movies where they have long tails, but more like people in human form who, whose behavior, whose thought processes, is the, the entire mental energy down through the body and the chakric energies, the, the proportions of the chakric energies have to do with serpents rather than human beings. I've done some research on snake goddesses uh, and I have to say it's a bit overwhelming at the, at the outset. To me, snakes have an iffy connotation, right threatening I feel. And I got to thinking, you know, tomorrow there's a solar eclipse at 9.16 a.m., I think it is, here Pacific time in California. So there are cultures, ancient, ancient cultures. You and I might have been there then for all we know. We may carry archetypal images to do with this very ancient mythology that I think may mean People used to think, primitive people used to think that a snake was eating the sun and then it, it, there would be an eclipse. And they might feel the same about the moon, you know, uh, after a while we're going to have a lunar eclipse. So coming up in a lot of people's minds and manifesting in the newosphere right now might be that extremely ancient archetypal image. Now. It must have been to ancient man and ancient woman and, and understandably down through the ages that an eclipse was considered to be a potentially catastrophic phenomenon. It would give a shiver of fear to a person who doesn't understand science to see the sun disappearing or the moon disappearing, don't you think? Um, and that might have brought up in the minds of all humankind 
the notion of the goddess of the serpent or snake goddess. Um, we have only until tomorrow morning to be concerned about this or perhaps on through the lunar eclipse. In that time, I think we need to, to confront change, the tearing down of the old and the liberation of the old so that we can take in the new, transform to the light, from the dark to the light during this eclipse window. So don't fall for fear. Know that what's on the astral plane can easily stay on the astral plane. It doesn't need to proceed to the physical plane at all during this time. A lot may come up for transformation. I have a final prayer. May God bless you and keep you safe and be with you through all your days. In love, light, and joy, this is Alice B. Claggett. I am of the stars. And if you'd like to see my website, Awakening with Planet Earth, you can surf to https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com. See you there. And until next time, take care, be safe.